Hey YouTube, just wanted to do a quick video. Um, first, I want to show you something I got at Goodwill. It's a uh, a traffic light, a yellow traffic light from outside. There must be at least 500 LEDs on this, and uh, it's a pretty nice find. I'm using it to heat it uh, to uh, light up where I do my laundry. It uses very little energy. It's not really good for an indoor light, but uh, it's really good for outside of my house. Uh, I was really lucky to find it. I'm sure it's got to be worth at least a few hundred dollars. I, I got it for like a dollar fifty, you know, because it's by weight. But anyways, just wanted to do a quick video. I'm just wondering about like your psychological state in an SHTF situation. I mean, there's a lot of videos about physical preparations, you know, stockpiling weapons, food, water. What about your mind? I mean. I know I go through this here, like where I live, constantly having to be on edge, constantly in like a, uh, you know, in, in America as well, you know, like with work and stress to, not to such an extent, but to somewhat of, of that degree where you're always in the fight or flight, you know, uh, response, you know, and, um, but I guess it's going to be even worse in the, you know, once things collapse, I mean, you might actually having, have to fight. It's going to be like you're in a war, but maybe even worse because you're not going to really have like uh, any logistical support, governmental support. You might be just all on your own or with your family, and you're going to need, need to be suspicious of everybody. I mean, you know, everybody's going to be looking to see what you got to rob you, to kill you, to um, hurt your family members. Who knows? I mean, who knows what's going to be going on? How are you going to deal with that uh, long-term kind of like psychological stress, always being on edge, never being able to relax, never being able to put your guard down. Even while you're sleeping, you're going to have to sleep with one eye open. You might have to be on the move, you know. Uh, you know, now, you know, a lot of soldiers, they suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, it, it affects you permanently. How are you going to um, wrap your mind around the, that change? I mean, are you going to get ready for it now, or are you just going to sort of like wing it when it happens and how do you think you could uh, deal with that kind of stress you know I know um, living like that it, it ages you very fast you know like I look around here in Mexico City which you know you have to always you can't trust anybody here you, you know nobody sorta of seems to have real human emotions anymore it's like you're dealing with uh, robots or animals or you know everybody's just looking to get one over on everybody else you know, and it's not necessarily like uh, they're going to kill you. I mean, they might, but, you know, it's more like just you go to the store and it's not like in the States where you go to the grocery store, you pay 20, your $20 and 99.9% .9 of the time you just get your change back. You sort of glance at it, but you don't have to count every penny. Here, it's just constant. I mean, you're going to get ripped off. They're going to try and rip you off in almost every transaction that you do. You know, and it wears on you. It wears on you to um, have to worry about even just petty little things all the time and imagine you know you have to worry about being killed every time that you leave your house you know once things collapse it's going to be very difficult to uh, adjust to that given that our soft modern li lifestyles you know i think it's going to be one of the hard hardest things to adjust to once um things collapse and i'd be interested to know um what other people think about that and how they might get ready for that thanks